Uh, hoi gamers and welcome back to Total Warhammer 3 as we play through the SFO and the Old World mods, both overhaul mods that really change up the base game. We continue to play as Drychar, the Wood Elf. We finally clear up the forest around the Griffin Wood. We have to deal with the Orc threat to the east, a slight Empire threat to the south, and then Karl Franz Confederates some more Empire factions to the west. And we make a slight mistake and we decide to annoy the Slayer King, which we could have just left in the mountains. And without further ado, let's jump on in. We are back with Dreicher in this oh, in this really good map so far of the Wood Elves, doing so much better than my high elves. And so we are playing the old world mod with SFO as well. So SFO has this number of settings left their settings here as per usual uh, but they do add some new enemies and monsters and units you can hire i think one of them is like this feral bear you have hired don't remember that being in the base game there's a lot of extra things i've added they've kind of it's a huge quality of life addition they've added which is awesome so here we are so we've got dreicher's second army it's cura uh, here, he just last episode we defended this, uh, this settlement, and now we are essentially on the fight back. So what has happened? So we've secured essentially our, our homeland, an area around the wood itself, and the wood has grown strong. We've got the, the Rambar Council to the south, which we are allies with. We've taken out Ostermark. Well, near enough taken out Ostermark. They've just got one settlement left, which is Essen. So we've just got Essen left. But as we were taking uh, out Essen, these orcs, Dreicher took a bit of a beating taking out this Natchadorf over here. So the orcs thought it would be really wise to declare war on us. So Dreicher's down here healing up, getting our troops uh, replenished while they while they attacked. Iskura managed to defend the city, which is great. But now we're going to go on the counter-attack and wipe them out. It's a decisive victory. We will lose one unit of Dryads. However, we're actually going to fight this. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to take out Muga and his army. And then we're going to then take out the secondary army run by Spite. So Spite's quite a unique character because he was actually one of the lords on my high off campaign, Teclas campaign, that actually defeated Teclas' army. The very last battle was against Spite. I know it's just a generic name. Any of the orcs can get that name as Spite. To me, it's personal, and it's personal that he's come back again. So I'm just going to keep hunting Spite down. Spite does have a small army, so it's smaller than this. It's only Spite and two units, so I'm not going to have any issue taking him out of the field. It's nice that I actually use the Wild Beasts mechanics. You can spawn some Feral Beasts to help you. So I, I originally didn't have this giant bear, the eagle, or the two Fell Bats, but I used the recruit fell beast well recruit wild beast uh, mechanic and it's quite nice to have additional help on the field last time i thought i actually didn't use my hero well i forgot that he was actually there so um this time i need to make sure i use him so hero is going to be on roughly on the front line gonna have some units here with my with my load of archers just in the back line however there are going to be these three units here. What am I doing? I can just do forward deploy. Just get straight up in their face immediately. Uh, which is what I'm going to do. They're not going to expect this. I can forward deploy my eagle and my bats. Which is also really amazing. So forward deploy them over. Just over here. So I can send them in. Send you to take out their archers straight away. The only ones I can't forward deploy are my bears and my hero. Which I'll just send in. So, without further ado, let's just attack. Send all you guys in. Uh, actually, take you guys, send you guys to attack those uh, nasty skulkers. Kind of want them to avoid my heroes if I can, or my archers. Yeah, once they've taken out those nasty skulkers, they're just going to move on. Probably send one unit of bats to those archers, one unit of bats to those archers. My hawk's just going to just assist with taking out everything else. Going to get them all to just attack those. You guys help there. 
I can get my hawks to go help um, there as well. The bears are now in the battle. Battle bears. Uh, once the archers have been dealt with, just get, can get these the bats just to fly in and essentially any of the units that are routing that haven't been fully destroyed, uh, the bats just going to take care of. I shouldn't have any units not in combat here. So you guys, you guys actually do something, please. My bears, you if you're not doing anything, bears, just 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 run in to get some get some kills. Fell bats aren't doing anything at the moment. So my hero is now in combat, so he can now use some magic as well. Use some magic on the war boss. Make him a little bit weaker. Where's my birds? My birds are there. Birds just go chase down some nasty, nasty, nasty skulkers. These dryads aren't doing the best here. Oh, we killed the enemy lord. Didn't expect that. As it's the, their second loss in a row, so we took them out in the last battle in the settlement. I should, this should be them being wiped. We'll find out in a second. So that was a relatively easy fight, I should say. Don't really need the money, so I'm just going to take the army replenishment. Um, because ideally, I'd like to take Spite out now, if I have the combat range. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, hopefully, I have the range to reach Spite as well. And I do have the range to reach Spite as well. Uh, let's give you post-battle loot. That'd be good. And go take out Spite. This one, I'm not going to fight. Just just pointless fighting that. And that Spite now down. And once again, uh, now, at this time, I will take the release the captives for a bit of money. And now, all I want you to do... So this is the Wild Spirits mechanic I spoke about. Um, but I recruit these. I can just, when I have the space, I can just recruit any of these if there's any in the area. And some some areas have, will have more than others. So if I, if I, I think I can hover over something. So if I hover over this, it tells me what's in the area. So there's, yeah. So that's how that kind of works. So I can hover there over this. And it's the one on the far right. So they've now done a very good service. So they can now rest. For some reason there's local effects where we're not receiving heals. I'm not really sure why. Is it this? So it's minus 25% minus replenishment for all non-elf and characters. Not really sure. Okay. You you have the range to get back to town. So that should give you replenishment. No, it doesn't still. I'm not sure why. It's apparently it's because of local effects. However, at least... I'm losing the order here. That's strange. However, at least Dreitcher's healing up very, very slowly. But at least she's healing up. She's better than nothing. I, uh, hopefully I can heal these guys up and then we'll take out Nagan Hoof. Or Nagan Hoff. Uh, once they... What level is that? Level 4, okay. Uh, once they've leveled up enough or healed it up enough. That's a bit worrying. Uh, so just over here, Altdorf has confederated with Telebackland. So they are now on my doorstep. So I need to ideally take these guys out as soon as possible. Normally, I still don't have any replenishment. If it is this, because it's winter, it's uh, it's very annoying. But I did not know that was a thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool, but didn't know it was a thing. So if that is what's caused me to lose replenishment, I I should have replenishment again next turn. I need to take out his orcs as soon as possible because Old Dwarf is on my doorstep and they they do dislike me. And uh, Hessen's down here. Well, they're not Hessen. Um, Ostermark. Uh, there's not really anyone to counter them now. So I may have to send some troops down there to probably deal with these. So that was what was stopping them from healing. So they got huge replenishment now. Looks like this Ostermark force is going to probably take Kiel. Which is not the end of the world. I want to take out these orcs. Get them gone uh, first. Once they've been dealt with, then I can deal with Ostermark afterwards. So, I'm happy. If I lose that, I lose that. The Great Wood is doing really well. Even if I, even if they take this, I'll still be gaining some resurrection. Probably some more healing for the Great Wood. Uh, and once again, I've almost finished healing this com uh, complete. 
Interesting that Alpha Lauren's not being healed up though. I guess I, I might need to. Let's have a look at this again. Forest health plus uh, plus three per turn in Afro Lauren. Afro Lauren's not being healed. Okay, I'll, I'll deal with that afterwards. Uh, I don't need that. Help with Petonia. Being friends with Petonia. Yeah, that works. But the campaign movement range is probably the best one of the two there. My lords haven't moved, but they're going to wait another turn. And then we're going to judge what Ostermark's doing and then judge what the Orcs are doing. At the moment, they've got huge garrison here. Absolutely, absolutely strong garrison here. And obviously, they're slowly building up troops again here. And they've got a, a, rather, a rather sizable garrison here. So, we'll see what happens. Um, this is a surprise. So, he has attacked my city, which is completely fine. I was expecting this. It's a, it's a victory. He's essentially killing himself against my settlement. I don't know all to resolve this. I don't really want to question that. But that's a win for us. Ostermark has just destroyed their own army. Um, which is awesome. So I'm doing the old trick of uh, using... 80% uh, there. So I'm going to use this guy's bait. Leave him in Force March. His army isn't the strongest. When you can say they still need a bit of healing. Drycha has an 80% ambush chance. So they shouldn't see Drycha at all. Uh, so hopefully they just pop out trying to take out my weaker, I say weaker, still a strong army, but a weaker army of the two. Uh, obviously, Ostermark's just weakened themselves massively. They are now 170th on the strength rating, which is pretty low. Uh, so they are going to be my next target. Uh, obviously, need to worry about the Reichland. However, uh, my tree's doing relatively well. So actually, it's not really too much to worry about. Aha, they've fallen for my trap card. So they just, they did walk straight into my trap. Um, which is what I wanted. I'm not going to fight this. It's a decisive victory. I'm not going to lose very many troops. You know, we lost very, very few. They lost their entire stack, which is great. So hopefully we should be strong enough now to take out their city. So Dreyasha leveled up in that, after that fight. Uh, so she can now... Get open branches, and then she'll be able to get the replenishment, and then the quartermaster straight after. And my hero leveled up as well, so I want his. Um, I just want his him to be a better archer, to be honest, and better post loot. It's in the Marva Lord. I want to have the same hero replenishment and upkeep, and then this last one, which is upkeep again. So. Ideally, I want all of their upkeep to be as low as possible, so just so, just so I can field another army. And you're going to move close to that fortification. Your Dreitcher, you're going to move at it. And this should be a decisive victory as well. They, we've got too many troops. It's a close victory. However, you won't lose any troops from this. So I'm just going to auto-resolve this. It's Yeah, yeah I'm just going to auto-resolve this. see what happens so we lost a few dryads but it's really minor it's completely fine and i'm gonna put a is it worth putting a seedling here yeah i'll put a seedling here just because of where this is located very unlikely for my troops to know for this area to get attacked so i put control and growth as I don't think I have any problems with control, do I? No. I'm going to put this in control and growth just for that casualty replenishment. It's going to take one turn anyway. So that casualty replenishment is going to be relatively large for my um, my armies here. And then I want you to have piercing shots again. Slightly better Our, uh, ammunition. It's going to take a couple of turns for my entire army to heal up. I don't need them to heal up fully. just need them to have a heal up just a little bit more. Yeah, so then I can take on this city or this settlement. It's quite a large. Though it won't have walls, from my understanding. Let's have a look. It doesn't look like it's going to have walls, so it's just going to be a normal fight. No, okay, it, it doesn't have walls, so it's fine. But that should give it walls. Anyway, whatever the fight's going to be, it's going to be relatively difficult. So I'm going to take my time and make sure my armies are ready. If needs be, I can do the same ambush trick with Dreitcher. If they build an army here, 
Batman. So I've got that in the back pocket as well. So the tree is now ready for the final ritual to give its ritual rebirth, which will be interesting. Um, we'll... um, so that's that. How my armies now have just replenished completely. And blood get is ready to be slaughtered. So Drycha is uh, going to move Iskura closer. And then Drycha is just going to go in for the kill. Just what Sia once said. She's going in for the kill. Doing it for the thrill. And I'm going to auto-resolve. Yep, fine. And I'm going to seed it. I'm going to take it. And with this... Yep, okay, thank you. Yep, 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 thank you. Yep, we've got this province. Yep, thank you. thank you. Now I have this province. I can now change this. Ah, dude, I'll put some oxes here. I slowly move my army back to Ostermark. And I'll take Ost On the way, I'll take these two cities and I'll take uh, Ostermark. Because I believe this is a whole province. Yeah, this is a province in itself. Naturdorf is province of up here. And this is a province with um, Kiel. Not too worried about these vampire counts. There was a big river in the way, and vampire counts are actually my friend. Um, so once I've secured this whole area, the next threat will be obviously the Empire, and then the Skaven that are in here. But looks so it looks like there's Skaven in here. This is chaos corruption, not Skaven corruption. So there's probably something nefarious going on there. I've got a good pit of money, so I'm going to upgrade my garrison already straight to the next level. I can now get the next level of Dryads as well, which is the Tree Men. So I wouldn't mind uh, upgrading my army just a little bit. Because having Dryads is good and all, but I wouldn't mind a couple Tree Men. And once Dryad has taken out Ostermark, so they've got, they're sending another army. Hopefully they fare better this time. Once Dryad has taken out Ostermark, I will then uh, have to look at upgrading her army and doing this rebirth ritual. And probably doing this quest here. Because it does give quite a good... Um, quest item for her. I believe it also gives her a lord as well. So Grapevines, Casualty Replenishment and Law of Life. So that's quite a good one to have as well. Quite a, so I just finished this research. Diplomatic relations with Bretonia. Okay, it doesn't really affect me because I'm quite far away from Bretonia. And then campaign movement range is actually quite good. Um, so I'm going to Isha the mother. And they're getting quite close. Obviously I'm going to capture this. Capture this. Take Essen. That is the plan. Essen's got a relatively large force there defending it. Um, my force here should be able to take out this army as well. Depends what's all, what, what is here, but if it's just a load of Empire Archers and Pikemen, my army will be more than fine to auto-resolve it, like last time. But, we'll see. So, this is another failure for um, <laughs> for Ostermark. This is going to be another auto-resolve, and that is an easy win for my troops. That's easy money as well. I think my troops are leveling up as well by defending. This is pretty good for us. Makes Ostermark slightly weaker. So when I go for Essen, the capital city, it's going to be free for the taking. So that's a bit annoying. The dwarves came down from, from the mountains and they decided to settle this town here, which is not an issue, but they settled it. They, he originally went to this city here. So I was like, okay, well, I'll leave this and I'll go to this one. Went over the went over the turn and then this they need to settle this city. Making that I meant that I tres was trespassing, which means they don't like me anymore. Well, they didn't like me anyway, but the attitude towards me is diminishing. I was going to take the Sid and gift it to them, so they're relatively happy. But if it means I'm going to have to fight them, I'm going to have to fight them. Doesn't look like the Empire cares too much, so that's not it's kind of good for me. Just seeing what I can build here as well, so that's not really needed anymore. Just trying to think what's needed. I don't think there's much that's needed anymore. I guess I can just upgrade my my basic buildings here. I need two growth for that. It's just going to take a while to get that growth. Uh, so I'm doing the same trick here as well. So I've got the tree man and Drycha who has a 100% chance to ambush. So hopefully they send both these armies uh, to try and uh, neutralize them. And once they do that, I can then take Essen. I'll ignore that. So they fell for my trap card. Exactly what I wanted them to do. So there you go. That's another auto resolve. Easy win for my armies. I'm going to do the grab the replenishment. So now the city is now open for attack. 
This is the final battle on SM. Just gonna auto resolve it again because it's gonna be an easy win. And I'm gonna We're gonna occupy it. So there he goes. Essen's now mine. I would like to take these two areas. Looks like my friendship with them is deteriorating rapidly. How about with Empire? Okay. Deteriorating with Empire as well. So I'm in, in kind of like a rock and a hard place. I need to take one of them out. I need to take both of them out, ideally. I think it's probably going to have to be the Slayers first, to be quite honest. And... I do have both my armies here. I don't have anything back in base to um, back this up. Which is a bit worrying. Unless I go for this building here. Which probably gives me upkeep. So once that's finished in four turns time. I will start building a, set, a third army. It will just be full of dryads. Just like my second army down here. Dryads will have the OP army. But um, that is the plan at least. Okay I got another port which is nice. So that's now that completed as well. So let's look at get in. That would be good. 100% from ports. So I can get a hoe for wisdom. Which is okay. Uh, but I'll get this one which is 100% extra from ports. Which is pretty good. So I think the slayers are going to be the next I'm going to have to take out. Which is not really uh, too much of an issue. Just need to gather a bit of, a bit of money. A bit of strength. And then I'll push into slayer territory. Trying to think how much they got. So this is their capital city's Karak Kadrin, which I believe is up here. Maybe not. I'm not actually sure where it is. No, it's down. It's here somewhere. Oh, Karak Kadrin. Okay, it's going to be here. Because uh, if that's their entire uh, region. Maybe I can drag these guys into battle with me. But it looks like... Okay, they don't seem too, aver too averted with me. Oh, because they're, they're dealing with their own business back at home. Um, especially with the brass ball knocking on their front door. A bit unfortunate. Can't be friends with these. Okay, the Von Karsteins don't want to be friends with me. I'm not really sure why they don't want to be friends with me. Uh, maybe because of aversion. But that's okay. I can live with that. So that's a bit worrying. The Empire have just confederated another faction of uh, Marienburg. I think they're slightly further to the north here. So that is just slowly bringing more potential enemies to my doorstep. Um, I know I'm going to have to take care of these dwarves sooner rather than later. I might just sit there in his borders on purpose to uh, get my trespassing up, which is probably actually what I'm going to do. Just really annoy him. My two stacks here should be more than capable of taking out uh, the slayers. But once again, I will start building this a third army once I take these two back actually you have really insane movement you can you can get all the way around and take Na Nacho Dorf uh, I wonder if he takes Nacho Dorf Dreicha can just pop in and attack that as well I've got three more turns before I will start building my next army ah that's not ideal um looks like the beastmen are Doing a number on our friends to the south. Huh. That's not ideal at all. <laughs> I don't know whether I should help. I should help them. I, I probably will help them. Looking at this. Torox the Brass Ball is relatively weak. My reputation of these is getting worse. But I can use the... Once this is finished with me getting these tree kin. I should be able to... If I capture this. Give it to the dwarves. I think that... No, regardless, even if I give them a settlement, they're never going to be friends with me. Because the end point of the brass ball is that he can actually travel over that across that river. Because so he can use his own version of the grass, the underway, whatever they call it. So that's going to be a big problem with him. Enemy leadership, okay. Let's see what these all are. Ward savers, give him extra wards. Yeah, sure. We'll get in there and let's just give you... Slowly build up that there uh, this army here. These guys are far north. Yep, so that's can still be my intention. Gonna grab this settlement. Um probably I don't want to declare war on them. So I wanna just sit in this this area until they declare war on me. Because if I declare war on them, it's lower my diplomacy. Obviously Temple Temple Hoff has just been destroyed as well. I don't think I mentioned that. 
Uh, so that's not good. It's not looking good for these guys. They do want a piece. Oh, they, so they can't piece out with me, but they do want a few agreements with me. Uh, this That's not the brass ball, is it? No, it's not. So I wonder what these guys are doing. How strong these are. So Vampire counts are 11th in their strength rating. So if I help take attack the brass ball, he'll probably increase their friendship with me. But once again, they're across the river. It's not really my problem. So I'm just really trying to annoy the dwarfs here. Um, I've got both my hit lords here raiding. I've got now finally have these uh, treekin. Used a regiment of renown here as well. And I've leveled up because when you raid with these guys, you don't get money. You actually just get experience. So And minus upkeep. So it's quite nice. So I've got both my lords raiding just so they both get some experience. Which uh, will take them obviously um, 10, uh, 20 turns to level up or 23 turns to level up. Which will take them a while. But hey, it's, they're not really there to do anything other than just annoy the dwarves to be quite honest. And then this army up here is, is slowly upgrading them with uh, some new troops. Which is quite nice. I would like a full stack here but once again there's no rush. Doesn't look like um, Old Dwarf or the Empire actually care if I take out the dwarves. So it'd be quite nice just having an extra army just up here to the north, just in case everything goes wrong. Now they'll probably start liking me if the if I start attacking the beastmen down south. I'm trying to look to see where, where the river crossing is. Looks like there's a river crossing there. Doesn't look like there's any other crossings, which is quite good. Less crossings, less likely I am to get attacked from the south. This is quite a nice little river to go through. There's looks like there's one crossing here, one crossing here. So if you manage, if you're playing as vampire counts, you manage to take all this because it doesn't look like there's many mountain passes. So there's a mountain pass here. Now I don't, f I think that could be it. And there's a mountain pass down here to the south. So that's quite a reasonable location. This place is, this might be the next place I go to. Let's have a look to see what I get if I max it. So I get diplomatic relations with the dwarves. Campaign movement. So I might use the, once I take out the Slayers, annoyingly, I probably shouldn't be attacking the Slayers because I could actually become friends with them. I don't know whether it's going to be too late. Maybe if I can give them a settlement, this could be very well too late. I didn't see that that gives me diplomatic um, relations. So all I have to do is use the deep roots to get Drycha, teleport Drycha there. And she should be strong enough to take most of it out on her own. We'll see. Um, because if she can take most of it on her own, I can become friends with the dwarves. Because the only reason why I wanted to take the dwarves out is because this is a quite big threat on my doorstep. But once again, if if I don't have to fight them, I don't care if they're on my doorstep. Same as the Empire to my west. They're not going to... If they don't hate me, I don't care if they're there. Because they're just on my doorstep. It doesn't really affect me too much. So I'm going to see if I can teleport Drycher out to that location. And... Maybe use Isk, because uh, there is a time limit of me teleporting her um, people around. Using the underways. Uh, I'll do nothing here. Oh, so it looks like one of the factions to the south here has died, so... That's fine with me. Yeah, that's, that's deteriorating a fair bit. Um, I'll leave you here. Let's see if I can use you to use the deep roots. And move you to... So, so she needs to be in within the forest. So make her move slightly further up. Maybe I can get her to do this first. Which is her quest. If I can get her to do the quest, that'd be quite useful. Can I get her to march? Okay, I'll, I'll get her to march next turn. Unless I can get her to teleport via Laws and Heroes. No, I don't care about Laws and Heroes. Go away. This one. Can I get her to teleport? It's one of these here. There you go, teleport. Are you sure you want to teleport? Yes. So I can teleport at her straight there. It's going to be a valiant defeat. It's a lot of troops. Decline the attack. Okay, so I'm going to get her some more treekin. Probably a couple more treekin. Uh, I don't know how good the Great Hawk Hawks are now. I wouldn't mind getting some. So that's 3,000 right there. So I wouldn't mind getting another uh, malevolent tree man. That'd be quite nice. And there's nothing really else that I can really buy here. Sun Dragon would be good. Yeah, so I think I'll get one, a couple tree men when I'm trying that fight. 
But that's going to be it for this episode. So what we managed to do is we cleared out the orcs to the east. And with Drychar, we've been able to really, really annoy the dwarves to the south. So I'm going to get Drychar to get back to the home base and then get her to use the deep roots and move her to down here. So if I take out these orcs, which have infested the web of um, Vale of Webs. I don't know how, how strong these orcs are. Uh, looking at a garrison, is quite a sizable garrison. Um, I don't know who, whether they've got the areas around there as well. Or whether I'm just going to be going straight in blind. But that would be quite a good one to get leveled up. Hopefully I can take this town here and, and gift it to the dwarves. And hopefully that they will be friendly with that. But that they're pretty annoyed at the moment. <laughs> Deteriorating a fair chunk. Unless I give them some money. Which I may have to give them money as well. Just to keep them from attacking me. So I may have done the bad, the worst move there. But anyway, that's me now rambling. So if you had made it this far for the episode, thank you much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and peace out.